Well, Queensland has become the first state to introduce permanent pill testing clinics. Advocates have labelled it a win for harm reduction, claiming it will save lives. Pill testing has been suggested as a strategy that allows people to test the ingredients of a drug. The results of that test could lead to a person not taking the substance. Despite a spate of drug-related deaths at music festivals across the country in recent years, no other government has allowed pill testing. Just this week, two Victorian coroners recommended a rollout of the service, saying it could provide life-saving insights and tailored information to elicit drug uses. Our next question for the jury, should pill testing be legal? Joining us now is Jeremy Buckingham from the New South Wales Legalised Cannabis Party and Mark Mori, crime editor at The Daily Telegraph. Hello to you both. Thanks for joining us on the panel Hello, this evening. Uh, Mark, I mean, it's a tragedy when we talk about any, any overdose uh, in this country. But is pill testing the answer? No, not at all. In fact, it, it, I think it's going to actually um, make the problem worse. Now, I've covered so many of these deaths that are actually it, it, it's sickening. But in most cases, it's polyuse. Hardly ever has it been one pill that's killed anybody. It's normally four or five or mixed with other drugs. Now, I've spoken to a lot of young people and they're saying, well, if my drug's clear, gee, I'll go back to my mates, that'll be great, we can go, we'll go for our lives, and then they drink. Um, it's just not the answer. What it's really doing is saying taking drugs is OK. Now, that is, we've got a major problem because the, the more that we're relaxing laws everywhere, we have, not just with, you know, MDMA and dope, but we now have a massive meth problem because everywhere we're sending out this message, taking drugs is OK, it's harm minimisation. It's not. It's harm escalation. As far as I can tell. You know, uh, it's uh, terrible. Jeremy, <laughs> does pill testing not just create an impetus for people then to take drugs, as what Mark said? And I mean, the reason why these substances are illegal is because they are harmful. What do you think? Well, we believe uh, we should base our uh, decisions on the evidence. And the evidence is um, that it saves lives and it actually reduces the amount of drugs that people take. Uh, in Canberra, they've had pill testing in for six months now. And what they've found is in CanTest, they have permanent pill testing there, is when people come in, 30% of people who have their drugs tested discard them, don't take them. So if you want to stop people taking drugs, if you want to reduce the amount of drugs people take, get them... Uh, provide a service for them to have them tested and they make an informed decision talk, talking to a health practitioner about the risks and reasonable people discard the drugs. So pill testing actually reduces the amount of drugs people take and reduces the harm because people make an informed decision uh, talking to a health practitioner and they don't take the risk. That is the message you're sending. Gee, those drugs are bad, go and get another lot. I don't think and, it's you know, I mean, and then we've got the mental health problem. The mental health problem, you talk to any copper out there anywhere in Australia who's been there for 30 years, they go to one mental health job a week. They're now going to 5 to 10, 15 a day, all, and most of them are drug-related. Yeah, but no it's one's just a massive no problem. No-one's saying that um, taking, taking drugs is without risk or good for you. What we're saying is... If just you do are... it, though, if you want to. No, no, no. <laughs> no, if you are going to do it, and in Australia hundreds of thousands of people are doing it every weekend, get some advice before you do it. Make sure you talk to a health professional. Do you want the last person, uh, your child, to talk to before they take drugs to be a drug dealer or a bikey or a doctor who says, if you take this drug, this is what can happen to you. And most of those young people get that advice from a doctor. And just on that point, Mark, I mean, in the end, if a person's going to take a drug, they're going to take it regardless. Why shouldn't they be given an option then to say, let's go and test this substance if it's cut with whatever, a bad substance, something bad that could be fatal, then they can make an informed decision. I've spoken to, to young people who've also said, well, we've paid all that money. They're, they're, they're risk takers mm. by nature. Now, you're saying 30% gave it back. I know the move, the first one at move, I think it was 128 people had their drugs tested, five put them back. Well, you know, out of 10,000 people. So those figures are so rubbery. The other thing is not... pill testing at, at, at festivals. A 20-minute test does nothing. There are 100 new drugs coming onto the market and changing. They can't even keep up with what's going on. Well, I think we've got to educate from the age of five to say... All right. well, in oh, can, you know. The CAN <laughs> test in, yeah. in, in the ACT, 31%. Yeah. Uh, since that's been operational, 31% are discarding the drugs because they realise it's not what's on the, the, the packet. They realise the risk it's taking. So if you want to reduce drug use, inform mm. kids about the All risk, right. inform young people about the risk so that they can make an informed choice. And All they're right. smart and they say no. All right, let's get some...
some juror feedback. Paul, what do you think? Yes, no, I, I think exactly that. It's an informed decision. I've got, I've got young kids, um, you know, teenagers. They go to festivals. Uh, you know, if, if we can do that, you know, that harm minimisation, you know, we've, we've been told, you know, me as a young kid growing up, rethink that second drink, um, you know, uh, the, the, the tobacco, um, you know, the harm. It's just giving the, the kids the informed decision. Um, you know, and if, and if we can, and we can uh, you know, everyone goes to a festival, wants to enjoy their time. You know, so, and looking after tablet. people. So what's, what's just killing if... people is not one tablet. Nearly every one of the five or six deaths in 18 months, there was poly use. They were taking four and five. But that's what so the health practitioners do. So now what's going to happen is, that's, gonna happen is that's they, what the health your pills are OK, no, I'm going to go for my life. You can also not... have six and dubbies that's... and jump in a car. I know. Yeah. You know, and that, we've that's, stopped. Yeah, that, that's your decision. 18 foot photos of, of 50 dead people from drug use, from at taking pingers around the festival and go, that might make I'd rather think. have no-one die from well, drug no use. Yeah, so I'd rather yeah. no-one dies from drug use. Well, what you late. do is you have a health <laughs> professional late, who says, dead. do not take this drug with other drugs. Yeah. So don't have poly yeah. use. Don't take... And if you're going to take this... Year olds. Don't take... 20-year-olds. Well... They're not going to listen. They are going to... And they the, the evidence listened. is they do listen and they say, I'm not going to have three or four of these. I might have a half of one. Hugo, what do you think? I think this sort of thing does encourage people and I really do believe, you know, being someone from a younger generation, that if, uh, you know, people are told that it's safe, they'll be like, well, I've got the tick of approval, uh, you know, off we go, let's absolutely go for it. I, I can guarantee you that's what's going to happen. But that's not the advice that the health professionals give. They say, this is not safe. This is not safe. What it does... But when they say it's, it's safe, it's, it's risky. the bigger problem. No, they say, <laughs> no, 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 the, 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 there's a difference there and it is, it makes it safer. All right. there's, it's not without okay. risk. All right, well, look, you've both had your say. It's time to call on the jury now. Jurors, you have 10 seconds to deliberate the following question. Should pill testing be legal? Time is up. What is the jury's verdict? OK, we've got two yeses. The rest of you say no, we should not make it legal. Rachel, why yes? Recently in the ACT, we've seen some decriminalisation of some of our drug laws. This was not advocated by drug users or drug dealers. This was advocated by the left um, family members and friends of lost loved ones. Had avenues been open to people to seek help without the fear of incrimination, they possibly would still be alive today. OK? I don't think it's encouraging people by um, making it legal. I think, if anything, um, kids want to do things that um, might be illegal. So if we keep it illegal, they'll want to do that because they are the risk takers. That is a very fair point. Mm. But look, it's, I mean, it's a conversation that comes up. Keeps going. It yeah. keeps going. So obviously there needs to be some level of discussion no matter what. Mark Murray, Jeremy Buckingham, great to be with you both. Thank you so much for your time this evening.